Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Pigeon Hole Principle in Discrete Mathematics. It is one of the most important principle in mathematics. So in this video, first we have to discuss about what is Pigeon Hole Principle, what are the applications of Pigeon Hole Principle and what is the generalized pigeon hole principle? These are the points we are discussed in this video. So first of all, what is pigeon hole principle? So suppose there are m number of pigeons, n number of pigeon holes, pigeon holes. Here the condition is m greater than n. The number of pigeons is always greater than the number of pigeon holes. So such that one pigeon hole contains two or more pigeons in it. Okay. So this principle is called as pigeon hole principle. Okay. So one of the application is for example, so there are four pigeon uh, there are uh, six pigeons are there six pigeons are there four pigeon holes are there so four pigeons can be allotted to four pigeon holes the remaining two pigeons can be allotted to any one of the four pigeon holes so then we can say that one pigeon hole contains two or more pigeons. Okay. Next, another application. Suppose, suppose eight children are born on the same week. Okay. So one children can born on the one day of the week. Okay. So one children can be allotted to one day of the week. So seven children can be allotted to, they can be born on one day of the week. One children born on Monday, second children born on Tuesday, third children born on Wednesday, fourth children born on Thursday, fifth children born on Friday, sixth children born on Saturday, seventh children born on Sunday. Remaining only one children is remaining. So one children can born any one of the day of the week. So that means one day of the week contains more than one children are born. Okay. So this principle is, this principle is also called as one of the application of pigeon hole principle. Okay. So now how to apply the pigeon hole principle? So it is somewhat difficult to identify where pigeon hole principle is applied. So which objects will play the role of pigeons? Which objects will play the role of pigeon holes? It is somewhat difficult to identify that. Once you are identified that, okay, so these objects belongs to the pigeons, these objects belongs to the pigeon holes, then it is very easy to apply the pigeon hole principle. Okay, so this is the description about the pigeon hole principle and applications of pigeon hole principle. Next, we go for generalized pigeon hole principle. The generalized pigeon hole principle is suppose k pigeons are there, suppose k pigeons are there, n pigeon holes are there. Okay, now at least one pigeon hole contains k minus 1 by n plus 1 pigeons. Okay. Suppose there are k pigeons are there and n pigeon holes are there such that 
एटलीस्ट वन पीजियन होल में कंटेन k माइनस वन बाई एन प्लस वन पीजियंस एन पीजियंस सो दिस प्रिंसिपल इज कॉल्ड जनरलाइज पीजियन होल प्रिंसिपल सो दिस इज pgn holes and this is pgns okay so at least one pgn hole must contain k minus 1 by n plus 1 pgns okay this is the generalized pgn hole principle so now we go for example suppose there are 26 students are there and seven cars are also there to transport them show that at least one car must have four or more passengers okay so to solve this problem so this problem can be applied to pigeon hole principle so then we have to identify which objects will play the role of pigeons which objects will play the role of pigeon holes okay so pigeons pigeons are nothing but 26 students here k is equal to 26 k is nothing but pigeons okay how many number of uh, pigeons are there 26 pigeons that is nothing but 26 students so these 26 students are transported by five cars five cars so cars are nothing but pigeon holes so n is nothing but five cars that is nothing but five pigeon holes so now we have to show that at least one car must have four or more passengers passengers is nothing but pigeons so if k number of pigeons are there n number of pigeon holes are there one pigeon hole must contain k minus 1 by n plus 1 pigeons so apply generalized pigeon hole principle apply generalized pigeon hole principle generalized pigeon hole principle so that is k minus 1 by n plus 1 pigeons so according to that k value is 26 26 minus 1 divided by 5 so that is equal to 5 so that means that means one car must have must have Four or more passengers, we are getting five. It is correct. So one one car must have four or more passengers. More passengers. Five is nothing but greater than four. So more four or more is nothing but five. Okay. So next second problem. Prove that. If any thirty peoples are selected, then may then we may choose a subset of five so that all five were born on the same day of the week. Okay, how many number of peoples are there? Thirty peoples. So thirty peoples is nothing but thirty pigeons. So that is k is equal to thirty pigeons. Okay, so we may. Take a subset of five. Okay, we may take a subset of five among the thirty people, so that all five were born on the same day of the week. Here, relation is week. Week week is nothing but seven pigeon holes. So that is n is equal to seven seven pigeon holes. Okay, so that is days of the week. Days of the Okay, so apply generalized pigeon hole principle. Apply generalized pigeon hole principle. Generalized 
origin principle. So that is k minus 1 by n plus 1. So that is equal to k value how much? 30. 30 minus 1 divided by 7. So that is equal to 29. That is equal to plus 1. So here 26 minus 1 here plus 1. So that is equal to 6. So 6 is nothing but 4 or more. So here 7 minus 1 by 7. So that is equal to 4 plus 1. That is equal to 5. So 5 people were born on the same day of the week. 5 people were born on the same day of the week. Same day of the week. Okay. We have to prove that 5 answer here. 5 were born on the same day of the week. Here 26 minus 1 by 5 plus 1. So 25 by 5, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. Here 6 is nothing but 4 or more passengers. So maybe 5, maybe 6 or maybe 4. Okay. So 6 passengers uh, may contain in a single car. Okay. So this is the description about the pigeon hole principle and the generalized pigeon hole principle and its applications. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, develop Sweeney Vasarao. Thank you.